reinforcement learning does not entirely work yet. And we are interested both in using the adversarial perspective to make sure that when reinforcement learning does work and is widely deployed, it'll be secure. We've studied things like making adversarial examples that cause reinforcement learning agents fail to play Atari games such as Sequest. Um, but you can also think of some of the strategies people use in reinforcement learning as examples of adversarial machine learning. In fact, you could say that reinforcement learning is the birthplace of adversarial machine learning. One of the first machine learning programs ever was Arthur Samuel's checkers playing agent that he wrote in 1959. Arthur Samuel himself was not an excellent checkers player. And at the time, people believed that computer programs could only do what their, their programmers instructed them to do. This implied that Arthur Samuel should not be able to create a strong checkers player. He disproved this general belief by creating a checkers playing agent that played games against itself and went on to become a better checkers player than he was. Today, we see this in things like AlphaGo, including AlphaGo Zero, and various projects from OpenAI, such as uh, sumo playing agents that learn via self-play, and the Defense of the Ancients player that learns from self-play. You can think of this as an adversarial game, uh, pitting each agent against a copy of itself. And we see that learning in these games greatly enhances their capabilities. Uh, the, the basic idea of extending self-play to other domains, like generative models, is the main way that adversarial machine learning has had a strong impact in these other settings. Uh, we've also seen that um, uh, reinforcement learning can be guided using techniques that came out of other domains of adversarial machine learning. For example, the discriminator from generative adversarial networks can be used as a reward function for reinforcement learning algorithms. Uh, here, Yaroslav Ganin and his collaborators at DeepMind uh, actually trained a robot to paint, to reproduce images, that it, it receives a digital input containing the image to be drawn, and then it actually paints on a real physical canvas and draws the same image. It's not able to compute a very good pixel-wise loss because with a paintbrush, it's never going to get exactly the same kind of pixel values as it gets in the input image. Any photo of the canvas is always going to uh, have shadows and lighting effects on the canvas itself, and the paint is shiny in places. So the pixel-wise loss uh, between the desired graphic and the actual photographic output is always going to be high. Uh, but a discriminator network coming from the generative adversarial network setting is able to get a good estimate of what the actual meaning of the image is and guide the reinforcement learning algorithm toward producing a successful final image through the painting process.